but how he handles <laughs> No, but you know I am serious. Yes, I already told you that I would love to go on that date. Yes, I was asking. I need you to come take me out later today. 5 p.m. But I told you before, I'm, I'm dying of boredom here. I just need to go somewhere. Oh, you always like to spoil me, silly. <laughs> Thank you so much. So I'll be waiting for you. You pick me up at five. And I'm wearing that particular red dress you got for me. It's a... Of course, I miss you too. And I love you. <laughs> I mean, what difference does it make whether I add very much or not? Mm-hmm. Yes, those lingerie you actually got are actually what I am wearing tonight. Which of the, the white one? <laughs> the white is my favorite. You know, the, the other time I wore the red, you said you didn't really like it. So I'm doing the white today. Okay, so I'll wait for you to pick me up. Bye. Love you. You know, you not really told me that this is what to spoil me today. You said you will spoil me today. Mm. I will still spoil you. Mm. You not told me this is I will spoil you. Mm. Ah, ah. Hey. Amen. <laughs> Good. Wow. <laughs> Let me spoil you today. What it is? You people waste that time, boy. Nick, you say I should, I should, I enjoy should myself. myself. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> it's okay. Mm. I. I just want to show appreciation of how God used you to resolve my marriage. Do you know, I was already planning how to send Sonia out from my house and move in with another woman. But after telling me the story of your late father's advice, it changed my mentality. My whole mentality about marriage, it changed it. Look at me today now. I am enjoying the fruit of it. Mm. My marriage is the sweetest now. Wow. I am enjoying my marriage, Nick. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm so, so happy to hear this. Yeah. I'm just honored. You, know, you deserve it. I won't thank you enough. So, my brother, enjoy yourself. Mm. Mm. I'm so honored. I'm so honored. Hey, just enjoy yourself. You see, I wish every other man out there would get to know about this marriage secret of yours. It will help a lot. Yes, it will. You're right. The point is that uh, we all have a role to play. Mm -hmm. You start from the contacts, the people around your sphere of contacts. You preach to as many as will listen to you. <laughs> While I preach to the people around my sphere of contacts, mm. together we can change the world to yes. a better place. Yes. Yes. No, no to divorce. We say no to divorce. Thank you very much, Nate. 
Yeah. It's okay now. I'm enjoying my marriage, Joe. Oh. <laughs> my marriage is not the sweetest. The way I'm enjoying this catfish here. Enjoy yourself. What you get? What you did for me is bigger than this catfish. Hmm. Hmm? You saved my marriage. A man's age does not make him grow. But how he handles things. How he handles things. A man must be defined by his priorities, not by his desires. Cause a real man make his wife feel like a priority. I saw, I saw Margaret going out of this house. I watched you walk. Well, did you see what Margaret wore out of this house? And she's even entering another man's car. What is your business? No, mom. How does that concern me? She, she... Listen it, to me. She can wear whatever she wants to wear. It's not your business. You are divorced. The only reason she's here is for your political career. Get that into your head. Mom, but she's still living under my, my house. keep quiet. It's not your business. She can go naked for all we care. Now, the earlier you take your eyes off that stupid girl and start concentrating on your new wife, build your new relationship and your home, you hear me? The better it is for you. Mom, the, the... Are you okay? I'm, I'm... Are you listening to me? Mom, I don't... I don't... Concentrate on your home. What's my business whether she goes out naked or she's dressed? Rubbish. This boy needs to be so good. Thomas! Sir, dinner is served. Okay, I'm coming. Okay, sir. Thank you. You take her love for granted. You go pay. You take this love for granted. You must pay. Cause the vacuum. Where she cover, nobody can cover it yet. Oh, you see this vacuum? Hey, where she cover? Nobody can cover it all for you. So be careful, be careful. Open your eyes, open your eyes. What God has given to you. So be careful, be careful. <coughs> Chef. Chef. Sir, you can What is this? Size bitter leaf. Ufun. Test it. Sir? I said test it. No, sir, it's your food. You're not testing. Is this how your village people prepare bitter leaf soup? Eh? What? 
Are you even a caterer? Yes, sir. I'm a caterer. You can confirm from our agency. Which rubbish agency are you talking about? You should be able to defend what you say you can do. What exactly is this? You know what? <clears throat> Tomorrow morning, I do not want to wake up and see you here. Take this rubbish and take yourself out of this house. Sir? Sir, 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 please now. Oh, sir? Bitch. Sir? This is bitter leaf soup now. Sir? Why were you raising your voice? Mom, where, where did you get that boy from? What boy? The chef or whatever he says he's doing in my house. You don't like his cooking? Mom, have you tasted anything that he cooks in this house? Yes, he's good. I like it. Really? Yes. Well, not everybody would cook like your village girl. Oh, well, that's how I like my food. Exactly like that, or something better. Oh. Anyway, I've sucked him. You did what? I've sucked him. It's okay. As long as you're prepared to go into the kitchen and make your meals yourself. Oh, what, what exactly is, is she doing in this house? Sleeping all day? What, what, what is she supposed to be doing in this house? Thomas, I don't have time for this rubbish. It's okay to sack him. Make your name to yourself. No, is, is that all you have to say about this? Alright, fine. Fine, I know, I know exactly what I want. I want to do. Well, I'm not sure. You take this love for granted. You must pay. Philip. Cause the vacuum. Philip. Where she cover? Philip. Nobody can cover it yet. Oh, oh, oh. you see this vacuum. Brother, sir. Is she Why back yet? No, sir. Nobody can cover it Do you know what the time is? Past 10 and she's not back yet. Yeah, yes, sir. So maybe she went for night. Because I've been, I've, been, I've been awake. Security conscious. Nobody have knocked at the gate. Nobody have passed the gate. I'm not seeing Go back. What's God has given to you? So be careful. Open your eyes. Appreciate what's God has given to you. Come to bed. I'm coming. Um, go inside. Uh, I need you in bed right now. I said I'm coming. No. Okay, just give me ten minutes. I'll be with you. Ten minutes. Oh yes, ten minutes. Ten minutes. I'm coming. <clears throat> I said I'm coming. What, what is your problem? We're outside. What, what are you trying to do? Uh -uh. I said 10 minutes. I'm coming. <clears throat> A man must be defined by his priorities. Not by his desires Cause a real man Make his wife 
feel like a priority. Mommy, in all honesty, I am tolerating all this is excuses because of you. What happened? I don't know what he's doing out there all by himself at this time of the night. Outside? Yes! Mimi, I want to go. I want to go, mommy. I want to go. I'll just pack my things and leave this house. Do that. I'm not begging anyone to marry me. I was on my own and he came for me. Why is he treating me as if I'm a log of wood? Too fine to frown. Eh? You're too fine for this, okay? Let me go and talk to you. I need him in bed. I am horny. I need him to come to bed. So this is what you have reduced yourself to. Are you sure you know whose son you are? Mom, can you please leave me alone? You should be ashamed of yourself. What are you doing out here? So at this age, you can't make up your mind about what you want. One minute you want, one minute you don't want. You're not sure what you what, what you can't make up your mind. I don't know what you're talking about. You know what I'm talking about. What are you doing here? What are you sitting here waiting for? You should be in your bedroom with your wife. Go to your room. Your wife needs you. Go to your room and stop disgracing your father's, your late father's spirit. I'm not disgracing anybody. I'm just here because I, I can have someone living in my house out there. What is your business? This ungodly hour. What is your business? A woman that you have divorced, you can't take your eyes off her. Why won't you take your eyes off that stupid girl and concentrate on your family? Mom, can you please leave me alone? Don't be silly. Don't be silly. You should be ashamed. Go to your room. Go to your room. You did your please back. Leave Go me. to your room and stop disgracing this family. Hey! Where are you coming from? Where are you coming from? I am talking to you. Don't walk out on me. Where are you coming from? What right do you have to ask me that question? Who? <laughs> Wait a minute. My father? Who the hell are you again? As long as you remain in this house, you, I have the right to know your whereabouts. What do you mean, what, what right do I have? And who is that, that, that lunatic that dropped you off by this time of the night? Is, 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 is something wrong with him? Well, if you must know, the lunatic is my boyfriend. Deal with it. And listen, I am in this house because of your selfish political condition. You don't have any right to ask me where I went to. I am going to call him back to come take me back to where I am coming from. Since you won't have me, uh, don't, 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 don't touch my back. Don't come. Don't come. Just, you can go inside. Don't call now. Just go inside. Go and rest. You take this love for granted. You must pay. Cause the vacuum, where she cover, nobody can cover it. Oh, oh, oh. You 
I'm not in the mood for anything. You're not in the mood for what, Thomas? Why, why are you shouting? What? Because I've refused to speak all this while. You and your mother lied to my parents and I that you are divorced. That is exactly That is, is not true. You sneak out all the time to go be with her. Now let me ask you a question. Why are you coming back at this time of the night? What, what were you waiting for outside? I was receiving fresh air. That's, what That's not true, Thomas. Not true. You know what? You and I, we are done. I am fed up. I am too big for this kind of treatment. Idiot. First thing tomorrow morning, I am leaving this house. Rocks. To hell with your dick! To hell with your dick! Look, this, I came prepared. Watch me satisfy myself tonight. Rubbish. To hell with your dick! And I'm leaving tomorrow. Don't, don't beg me. Don't even try it. I think you have to continue this job while I go. I don't think it's okay for you to go. I have a better idea. Which is? We are from the same agency. We can swap office. I can cook too. And maybe Oga might like my food. It's a nice idea. But do you think he will listen to us? Yeah. That's the problem. He will. I'll personally talk to him myself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You do that for me. Of course I will. Thank you. Uh, my dear. Something in this house is confusing me. What is it? Who is that Auntie Margaret? I don't know, but I'm suspecting something. What are you suspecting? The other day, Philip the Gateman was telling me something about her. It's like she's August for my wife, but they are no longer together. I said it. See, I suspect she is his first wife. I don't know. I'll find out from Philip later. It seems they are no longer together. Eh? If they are no longer together, what is she still doing here? Mm. Nah. Well, I'm aware you ask Philip, you come and tell me. You understand? Right. Let me come continue my work. Nah, eh. This house, confusion everywhere. your wife and beg her not to leave. You can't get out of bed. Come beg your wife and ask her not to leave. You can't even pet me not to leave, Thomas. I believe you are an adult. You know what you want. You know how to feel. So feel free. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. You never wanted me. It was your mother's making. But at the expense of my emotions, Thomas, I'll be fine. Don't worry. I'll be fine, Thomas, and I will leave. Life goes on. But be rest assured that for all the maltreatments you gave me, I will report you to my father. Men like you come to their wives, beg them, beg them not to leave. This is you pressing your phone. You are Carlos. You are Carlos, Thomas. You are Carlos. Idiots. You said for someone to play with and it was me you found! 
Open this book. Open it. Oh, please do not call me by that name again. You knew your son doesn't want me. Why did you drag me out from the comforts of my father's home? Why? Only to be ridiculed. Oh, I don't understand what you're talking about. Swear you do not know me. Swear you do not know that your son has been treating me like some, some piece of shit. Am I that worthless? Can you just calm I'll down? Never be okay, calm like this down. This in my life. Okay, calm down. I'm going to go inside and talk to him. Okay? Oh, not to worry. I am done. You do not have to go in there to talk to anyone. Mm -hmm. I am done with this, with this mess called Please marriage. Calm down. Please. Ah! Feel behind from me. Do not talk to me like that. You will hear from my father. Come, listen. Father, we can shut this out. Open the gate. Open the gate. Open the gate. What up? What's up? Are you stupid? Sorry, man. Thomas! 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 What are you still doing here? I thought I asked you to leave. Take. Leave! Please, sir. I'll try to beg you for something. What is it? Sir, both of us can change office. I'm a good cook too. And maybe you like my food. I don't like your food. I won't like your food. I know the food that I like. So don't tell me that. Now, if you want to stay in this house as a maid, fine. But if you want to live with him, that's okay. You are driving me insane! What is all this? Please, I need peace. Sorry, sir. You take her love for You go Oh, you take this love for granted, you must pay. I think the MD is going through a lot. He is losing concentration in business. Yes, I, I suspect a monetary issue. Yes, he broke up with Margaret. What? They are officially divorced. This is serious. Yes. Oh my yes. God. I wouldn't know why he chose to bring in his mother into that house. Mm -hmm. What is that woman doing in that house? Exactly my point. She has succeeded in breaking this marriage now. Yes. She should go back to her husband's house. What is she doing there? Eh? Or she should go back to uh, abroad where she came from. Good day. Hi. Nothing can be more harmful in marriage than a mother-in-law living with her daughter-in-law. Yes. The truth is that two captains cannot steer a ship at the same time. Yes. Ah, she should go back to abroad. What is she putting fire ah. between husband and wife? Ha! Ah. Hey. Oh, bad. Witch. 3D witch. So you have succeeded. You have succeeded in using your witchcraft to make my son send away that classic girl from a very decent and dignified home that I got for him to marry. You have succeeded. It won't work. It will not work. I am going to. Oh, make shut this... up, please. Shut up. You didn't put, oh, you didn't use witchcraft, but you put a spell on him. What's the difference? I did not use a spell either. Really? Now listen to me. I don't blame you. It is myself I blame for allowing you stay in this house. I suggested it, that you stay on after the divorce. Well, that's not anymore. It's not going to happen anymore. So go in there, pack your things, and get out of my house. Now you listen, I am going to make this clear. You've had so much joy trying to cause me pain in this house, my husband's house. Look, but I won't beg you. I would leave. Oh, get out. Who's asking? I'm saying leave. You're still standing there. Get out. Rubbish. You have no place in this house. No place. 
tell me what man in his right senses will, will chase away a girl like that and settle for a poor, a poor thing like you. Rubbish. Bia, who is there? Who is there? You take her love for granted. You go pay. You take this love for granted. You must pay. Cause the vacuum. Where she covered. Hello, Philip. What? Okay, 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 listen, listen. Do not open the gate for her. On no account should you open the gate. Did you hear me? Make sure you keep her there till I come. One month you got divorced from your husband, you already have a lover. That means you have been sleeping with the guy all the while. You have been cheating on my son. Get out. Get out. Get out. Go to the cheap thing. You both belong together. Man, you are leaving. Get out. Get out. If you touch that bag, I'll slap you. I don't want to push you. Can you just leave? Don't make me push you. What? You're staring at me. What are you going to do? Fight me? Useless girl. That's the guy that befits you. Rubbish. I'm going to wait here and make sure that she gets out of this in fact, this entire environment. Nonsense. Thomas! Thomas! No, Mom, wait. I'm coming. Thomas, come back here! How did he know? Ma? Who called him? I don't know. Who told him what was going I, I, on I, I, here? I, I, I don't know, Ma. You do not know. So how did he know? Mama, he came for lunch. He came for... Is, is it time for lunch yet? Brunch. Is it time for lunch? Mama, maybe it's brunch, Ma. Eh. You see, all of you that do not want anything good for my son, all of you would have to leave this premises. All of you. Mom, I'm not, I'm Shut up! Lock my gate. Yes, ma'am. Stop! Oh, stop! Stop! Leave me alone. What is wrong with you? What in God's name is wrong with you? He has and what gave you the right to hit my boyfriend? He has no right coming to my house to pick my wife. Is he mad? Is something wrong with him? Listen, listen. You better bring your voice down. You do not have a wife, I do not have your time because I have more important things to do. Okay, okay, can you just, just calm down, let's talk about this thing and... What, are, what other important things are you talking about, more important than me? Really? Yes. Please remind me again, who are you? From the... 
husband. Your husband. Ah, did I hear you say husband? No, excuse me. Did I hear you say... Tom, take a good look at me. Look at my fingers. Does it look like I am still married or do I have a husband? Ivan, don't do this to us now. <laughs> don't do this to us. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Listen, I know that I have hurt you in the ways that is beyond description. I'm, I'm sorry for all the... All the humiliating words that I've said to you, all the embarrassing moments that has... I'm sorry. Please don't believe. Now you're apologizing. I, what happens afterwards? I, 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 I want us to go back to the way we used to be as husband and wife. I, I, I want us to, you know, forgive each other. Okay, there's nothing for me to forgive you of. You are the one who needs to forgive me so that we can, you know, revive our love. For the sake Tom, of Tom, our Tom, children, please. please. Can you just stop already? As you can see, I have a boyfriend. A new man. He loves me and I love him deeply. We are getting married. Your mother didn't even want me to be with you in the first place. So why don't you just leave me alone so I could have my peace? Please, please, please just forget about my mother. Fine, I, I was the one who soiled our marital vow by bringing in another, another woman into her marriage and sold our marital vow. But please, let's not allow strangers into our marriage. Let them not destroy the things that we've built together. Please, don't leave me. The vacuum that you, you have created in my life is so huge. There's no woman that can take your place. I know it now. Tom. Babe. I feel nothing for you anymore. Please don't say that. I love my man and I love him deeply. Please don't say that, babe. Please. Goodbye. Please, babe, please don't. Don't leave me. Please, if you leave me, I, I will die. I'm, I'm dying. I'm you dying. are dying. Yes, babe. You are dying. Please don't leave me. This should be the very first and last time you would come after me. I do not want to see you anywhere around me. The next time you come an inch close to me, I'll call the police on you and make sure you rot in jail. Rubbish. And let me make this clear. The next time you touch my man, huh, you won't like the end of it. I'm sure your mother wouldn't like that as well. Babe, babe, please wait. Go and get that luggage for me. Ma. Ma. I said get my luggage. Come and get your, your luggage. Are you stupid? Go and get my luggage. <laughs> Excuse me. Open these boots, please. Are you traveling? Yes, I am. I'm leaving this house for you people. I'm leaving so you all can continue with your nonsense. Tell your boss that I've gone back to my base. Huh? Ma, please don't go. Ma, will you come again? I hope this guy has AC. Put it on, put it on. Put it on now. You take her love for granted. You go pay. Take this love for granted, you must pay. Cause the vacuum, where she cover, nobody can cover it yet. Oh, you see this vacuum, hey, where she cover, nobody can cover it all for you. So be careful, be careful. Open your eyes, open your eyes, what God has given to you. So be careful, be careful. Open your eyes, open your eyes, open your eyes, what God has given to you. So be careful, be careful. What kind of mess up is this? How can I make this kind of stupid mistake? Losing my precious ornament. 
What in pursuit of pebbles? Who, who does that? Oh, I mean, what kind of a thing is that? Ah. Mm. You take her love for granted. You go pay. God. You know I don't disturb you always. But please. I've come to ask you one thing. I, I, I know I don't deserve it, I know. But please, just do this one thing for me and I will never disturb you again for the rest of my life. Please, bring my wife back. I am, I'm, 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 I'm really sorry. I don't know what came over me. I was, I was, I was out of my mind. A, a lot of things was just clouding my judgment. I'm sorry too. No, 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 no. There's nothing you should be sorry about. I, I was the one who offended you in every way. I, I hurt you. I abused your emotion. I underestimated your effort in the house. You took care of me, but I was. is not my lover. Your mother actually walked up to me that very day. Margaret, I just came to let you know that my son's new wife will be coming back tomorrow. <laughs> Finally, I got a befitting wife for my son. You already know why you're here, don't you? Just make sure you keep your part of the bargain. Do you understand? As far as I'm concerned, you're like a refugee in a foreign land in this compound. So don't you. I repeat, don't you ever give my daughter-in-law the impression that you're still married to my son. Am I clear? Am I clear? I heard you. Good. That night was the worst night of my entire existence. I couldn't sleep. I mean, how could I? knowing that another woman is finally coming to take my position. I later encouraged myself and had my own plans too. But sister, why would I pretend to be your boyfriend when you are my cousin sister? Listen, this is not something we can talk about right now. But it's very important. It's for the good of my marriage. See, I, I need to save my marriage. So, how do we go about this now? Um, it's not an issue. I have everything all planned out already. My husband gives me money at the end of every month. He also pays in money into my account every week for my upkeep. All you need to do is just to get me a list of everything you need for the exercise. I will make the money available. I just, I need you to look good. I need my husband to be jealous when he sees you. <sighs> Okay. Oh. Chinedu, mm. it's not a matter of okay. I need you to put in effort. I've heard you. I'll do it for you. Thank you. You're welcome. It means a lot to me. You're welcome. So you send me your account number so I could forward you some money. And also, don't forget to send the list as well. So I'm going to do that. All right, so we need to leave. Okay? All right. Mm -hmm. You know, all I wanted was just to see the face of the woman that that was going to take my place. 
that was why I stayed outside. Because I knew I had nothing doing outside. I just had to take a call. I wasn't actually talking to anybody that day. Yes! Just... I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not just, I just, I just... I, know, I was just thinking to myself, who could that be? I mean, she doesn't have any friends. She doesn't, she doesn't stay talking I, to anyone on the phone. I was only fighting to be strong. And you won the war. I wouldn't have given you up for anything. I never wanted a divorce. Wait a minute. This is shocking. You know, your husband made it look like you both had a mutual agreement to go for a divorce. I didn't want to leave permanently. <laughs> so now all I wanted was a break. I just wanted some time to myself. I know my husband still loves me. Him too. The only problem we had was his mother's presence in the house. And that was the reason I decided to take a short trip to my father's house. Because I knew that once his mother left, he would come looking for me. My husband cannot live a day without me. so sad that she that she was able to use that avenue to to achieve her long evil plans so you don't want a divorce i don't want it sonia i still love my husband i don't want a divorce i don't It's okay, all right? That's okay. Listen, I'm going to help you. You won't get a divorce, okay? Thank you. Thank you so much, Sonia. Thank you. Please. Thank I love my husband. I know. Can, can you stop crying? I'm not crying. Please, just pull yourself together, okay? What was, what was that thing I signed? <laughs> <laughs> Mom, your husband was here the other day. And then he already signed the document. So you need to sign this sign here too. Um, but you promised there wasn't going to be any divorce. Listen, without a court degree, this is just nothing but a mess certificate. Yeah. He will need a proper court degree to make it official and legal. So, even with you signing this, without a proper court decree, you are still not yet divorced. Trust me. Just sign. Okay. So, where do I sign? Ah, just sign. Where I got you. I know. So. You were only parading yourself with a piece of paper that had no legal binding. There was never going to be a divorce. You know I messed up. I messed up everywhere. I messed up big time. I owe you a sincere apology. I was wrong. I hurt you. I was the one who, who brought 
brought in another woman. I made love to her in our matrimonial bed. I have committed a sacrilege that against you and against God. Can you ever forgive me? You know they say to err is human. I forgive you. How can you even forgive me for all these things that I have done to you? Okay. But you see this thing that you have done? I will never take you for granted. Whatever you will do to me in the future, whatever, I forgive you. No, whatever it is, I, I don't care what it is, I forgive you. It's okay. What did I do to deserve you? I love you. And I love you too. Oh. It's okay. I love you. <laughs> Can you just take it easy? I'm still serving the food. Thomas. Oh. I know you like it. Mm. Is that enough? Yes, please. <laughs> You always go for your meat first. You know. You always go for your meat mm. before you start eating the food properly. The meat carries a taste of all the food. <laughs> <laughs> so I like to have the taste all at once, bro. Really? Mm. I see. You know, this is the aspect of you I really missed so much. Mm. Your cooking. I can't even. I can't even remember how I survived without it. Tell me more. I mean, how can one person be endowed with all this ability and beauty and everything? <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. And thank you for thanking me. Does that even make sense? Oh well, the Germans would say Danke Shay. Thank you. So what does the house ask you? Now go do it. <laughs> Thank you. Now go ahead and eat your food and you'll be a sports brat. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I was meaning to ask you, have you noticed that the MD has returned to his normal cell? That is because Margaret has returned to him. She did? Yes! After the divorce, there was no divorce in the first place. It was a mere camouflage between my wife and Margaret. It was not real. <laughs> you don't know women. <laughs> I'm so happy now. Mm. Believe me, their love will be operated in a higher frequency now. Exactly. Especially now that the mom has returned to the UK. Oh, she has gone back. Yes! <laughs> Everything is now moving on smoothly. <laughs> as it should be. <laughs> huh? I wonder what she was doing there. Commanding, cook this, cook that. So, what exactly are we celebrating? Have it. We are celebrating you, my wife. The one meant for me. My special gift from heaven. Mm. The only one that gets me. 
I really want to say thank you for letting things go. Especially for forgiving my mom and I. I know, I know it's like a repetition, but I don't want to get tired of saying thank you because what you did was superhuman. You see, in my quest to becoming a member of the House of Assembly, I contested twice and twice I failed. But you, my priceless Joel, the only one that really loves me for me. <laughs> my good luck charm. Oh. My precious spell. You <laughs> contested once. And you won. Voila. Congratulations again. Thank you. <laughs> I am so happy. Thank you very much. And I love you. That is... <laughs> <laughs> Mom! Oh. Congratulations, my darling. Thank you. Mom. I am so proud of you. <laughs> so proud. Thank, Thank you. you once again. Thank you. Mom, Mom, I thought we talked about this. Yes, it's we did. Fine. I just can't help it. I mean, I, I okay. have been such. Oh, you deserve it. Mom, mm. Mom, Mom, mm. it's okay. Mm. We are fine. I am happy. My husband is happy, and you are happy. <laughs> I love you, Mom. Oh, so much. Can I have a glass? Yes. Just you like me. As a matter of fact, you should have mine. I'll get another one. Are you sure? Don't worry, I'll get it for the I know. No, no, no. A man's age does not make him grow. But how he handles things. How he handles things. A man must be defined by his priorities, not by his desires. Cause a real man make his wife feel like a priority. Cause a real man make his wife feel like a priority. Not an option. She's not an option. She's not an option. Not an option. Stop making her to cry. She's not an.